Welcome to Headway 101. My name is Corey Freeman, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use custom post types with Headway. Um, it's actually really easy, and we don't need to use any premium plugins, so let's go ahead and get started. I've got my personal blog pulled up here because we're going to add a custom post type to it right now. Uh, the first thing we want to do is install a new plugin called Custom Post Types UI. It's the first one that comes up, so click Install and then OK. And then Activate. All right. You can see that a new Custom Post Types menu item has appeared on the left over here. Hover over it and click Add New. All right, now we're going to name our post type. Uh, for my blog, this one's going to be called Musings because it's just going to be shorter posts on my personal blog that are kind of thoughts I have during the day. So I'm going to write musings, or actually I'm going to write thoughts, because musings is kind of a weird word. And then I'm going to write thoughts, and then I'm going to write thought. I guess I capitalize it. Um, you can skip the description, it's not really necessary. But do click advanced options down here, and where it says has archive, click true. And then you can click create custom post type. I'm going to empty my page cache. Okay. So over here on the left-hand side, you can see the menu item Thoughts has appeared. And now it's going to work just like Posts, so I can add a thought. Um, my custom post types are awesome. It's super easy to make custom post types. Woohoo! Then Publish. Okay. So if I show you the blog, you'll see that the custom post type I just published is not going to appear on the blog index, which is good because you probably don't want it to if you're making a whole different type of post. But it will appear if I type in thoughts. Because this is the custom post type archive. You can edit this layout by going into Headway, Visual Editor, Grid. So you can see over here in the sidebar, we've got archive post type, thought, and that's what it's showing me right now. So I can clone the blog index, but in this case I could say get rid of the sidebar completely. And then if I go back, you can see that the sidebar is gone. You're going to have to use CSS or something to get rid of the archive title. Uh, that's unfortunately not something you can do through Headway, but this is how you would customize basically the index for these custom post types. Incidentally, that's how I'm using the pin board block from Headway to show my child themes. Uh, all my child themes are a custom post type, and then I have the pinners block, which is, you can see how to use that in a different video. Alright, now if I click on a thought, you can see it goes back to using the default layout that I've got set up. But if you want to edit how they look singularly, you would go to Single, Thought, and then Edit the top. You can edit individual like custom post type posts, as you can see down here. But just for the overall, you want to edit like the thought, or whatever your custom post type is named. I'm going to hit Clone Page. And then in this case, I'm going to choose Do Not Mirror. And let's see. Say always show comments in case comments aren't showing up. There we go. So you just use a content block to interact with custom post types, and that's sort of how it works. Um, you can edit the metadata. So here we would highlight thoughts, and then meta above content, like date, is already is automatically entered, and you'll see the date will appear. So you can just treat these like working with posts. Um, you'll see here, when you're working on this content block though, you want to make sure that thoughts is selected where it says entry meta display per post type uh, so that you're editing the right entry meta. Uh, you can also show featured images. I didn't add one, but it works just like regular featured images. Let's see if I just like have one. I'm just go to the media library and use that. 
like a picture of my coffee mug. And voila! Now there's a featured image, and I can change the position of that if I want to, like, er, above content. And now my featured image has resized itself. So that's really just a quick overview of using custom post types. Um, and I'll actually show you the menu. The last thing I'll show you is in the menus. When you're using custom menus, uh, you'll see that the custom post type will appear sort of as posts that you can add in the same way that posts appear. Um, and I'll show you that they do appear if I like check that. In the same way that you can add posts, you can add custom menus. But in order to add like the actual archive to it, you need to grab the URL, which in this case would be thoughts, and add it as a custom link. Ah, thoughts. And, and then save. And now visitors can get to your custom post type archive. So that's all I've got. Um, as you can see, it also won't appear in like your posts archive if you're using an archive plugin. Uh, check out headway101.com for more information on how to use plugins with Headway and Headway Basics. And check out youtube.com slash headway101 for videos, including a video on how to use the new pinboard block, uh, which includes a section on using it with custom post types. My name is Corey Freeman. Thanks for watching.